Okay, so this guy is based on the version of Gal Gygar that I'm going to go into after I go over these guys. Again, Pablo, again, by injecting himself with, well, I'm not sure what he does, but he eventually becomes to Papa Lupa Pygera. Also, the, plan the 11 Planetary Masters of Soul later gained the ability to constantly regenerate damage. And the only thing that can counter regeneration is destruction. Lots and lots of destruction! <coughs> Sorry. I just love this series. I just love this these OVAs so much. <sighs> I miss the Brave series. I demand a reboot, but... Hey, you know how reboots go. Some people like them, some people hate them, some people want to burn them to the ground. I wish I was kidding. But I'm not. <laughs> anyway, similar to Gal Gygar's Hell in Heaven, Papa Lupa has his own version. That being God and Devil. But in any case... Actually, I think that's all I'm gonna go into for these guys, because... There is a lot to talk about, and these guys can easily make up their own video. But, I'm not going into that. Anyway, let's talk about the new Gal Gygar. So, how- So, by- So, Mamoru eventually took the real Galleon back to the G-Crystal. The crystal which the G-Stones were fashioned out of. And- And tried to restore Galleon's original programming. Because, as we learned- Galleon's original program was actually replaced by a pro by a black box that held the program for Mamoru's original father, known as Kain. Or Kane. I don't know. But in any case, Mamoru was eventually able to restore it, and Guy was able to fuse with a new Galleon known as Genesis Galleon to form Genesis Gygar. However, Mikoto later sacrificed her life to release the Genesis machines, which we later learned. Which are all based on animals. First is Spiral Gow and Straight Gow, which are based on moles. Now, I'm not sure which is which, but I think Spiral Gow is based on a female mole. Why are they called Sp Straight Gow is based on a male. Why are they called Spiral and Straight Gows? Well, because their drill-like noses have, di have different drill circle, have different, well, drill pits on them. Spiral Gows has, well, a spiral going around the nose cone. Well, straight gal has, well, straight lines. Next is broken gal, which is based on a... No, wait. Yes, based on a shark. What protect gal is ba Well, its counterpart protect gal is based on that of a dolphin. <sighs> There's also gadget gal, who has no counterpart, but best guess he's either based on a dragon or a hawk. Or maybe a combination of both, I don't know. But anyway, after performing the true final fusion... Guy becomes the strongest version of Gal Geiger ever. Eat your heart out, HR Geiger, and every other. Eat your heart out, Mecha. Eat your heart out, Mazinger Z. But with Straight Gal and Spiral Gal taking the place of Ga taking the place of Drill Gal in this combination, forming the feet, forming the armored feet and legs. Also. To contrast this, he actually has two enclosing toes. I don't know how that works for stability, but let's pretend that makes sense. Broken Gal and Protect Gal take the parts of Liner Gal, them straighten out and actually have a connector po port that they combine in the middle of of Gal of Genesis Gygar. And one and Gadget Gal takes the place of Stealth Gal, but the with his engines actually become enhanced. But instead of being black regular hands, these guys are orange claws. Also, he gets an also similar to the original Stealth Gal, he also contains port He also contains portions that connect to Gal Leon's head the head the head slash chest for Gal for Gal Leon forming a mane. Also, new helmet with flowing orange hair. And he says the most awesomeness way to say it. I cannot replicate this. I cannot replicate the call. I must look it up for all to see.
Let's hear that again. I went too far, but good you went to see the helmet sequence. I love that transformation. But in any case, new ability, updated abilities for all. With a new version of the broken Magnum. But, but instead, it's just the fist paint, which may, which due to anime awesome, which due to awesomeness, which, which used to anime awesome science, means while it's also faster, it is also 10 times more powerful. Because this is the anime. Screw the laws of physics! We also get a new version of the Protect Shade, which can, which can, which, as well as reflect energy, can also bend energy and form a complete barrier around Gal Gygar. Also, Gadget Gal also plays a new role. Guy can actually use the segments of Gal, of his new tail weapons. Also, also he also has the Gadget Feather, which, which spreads out into devil-like feather wings. And back to the next segment, which can actually form different weapons. <sighs> with with the head for Gadget Gal becoming a new version of the Will Knife, two of the segments becoming a new driver for Guy called the Bolting Driver. I have no idea what it does. And by using three next segments, he can use a new version of Hell in Heaven, with the claws with the claws extending and the three next se segments covering them in black armor. Similar to his original hands for the similar to the cup similar well not similarly, but but similarly to the original Cow Guy Gar's Hell in Heaven. However, it does not end it does not end up going well for our heroes. They are being back hard. But thanks to their brave and undesirable will to give up, the heroes rise again. Because they know what they need to do. They need to destroy the sources of the Lao Chi Stone, which would prevent them from regenerating again. Then Guy also calls out Papa Lupa for his hypocritical view of being a god. Because I agree with this. It's because the reason they never attacked Earth directly and why they never went to the G Stone until never went looking for the G Stone themselves is be the G Crystal themselves is because of the it's because they were afraid. And think about it. What did they do? They sent a replica Mamaru that was reprogrammed reprogrammed to serve them, but were original but was originally made along with a repl replica Galleon in order to throw them off Mamaru's trail while he tried to make it back to Earth. They Try to separate 3G because we later learned that Papalupa spread chemicals into a replica Earth, which amplified 3G's heart yearning for peace. He tr he destroyed Galfigar, the king of Braves. He took control of Guy, tried to kill them multiple times, and because they were afraid of the G Stone. Why? Because while the G Stone does amplify power, the true source of the G Stone's power is someone's brave. Or, to put it more simply, the strength of their will. As I went over Gal Guy, Gar, Guy, r Guys, and his robot allies' is, Guy, 3Gs, and his robot allies' is wills, or brave, are strong. And that strength is only amplified by the G-Stone, which, which allowed them to overcome every obstacle they faced. Zonders, Zodarians, the 31 Primavals, the Z-Master, the, the Zonda, and every enemy they faced after the series. Yes, they actually did face a crime organization. And what did the three, and what did the Soul Master, the Planetary Masters do? They said, now one might think that they're super strong and very cunning, but they were afraid. The reason they separated Guy from the others is because that their, 
because they knew that their wills combined and working together, they were unstoppable. And that's where, and Papa Lupus questions Guy saying, what does a god have to fear? But keep in mind, he's not a god. He's a computer program. A program that went out of its mission parameters. A program that went too far. A program who thinks he's a god, but he's just as mortal, less even, because of his will to face them head on. I know the villains were, well, despicable, and they used people as their, as their own proxies, but they may have had a superior quarter complex, but when the situation did come for it, the 31 planetary, the Zonders, Zondarians, the 31 Z primivals, machine primivals, they, they were all will, they still had, they still had the guts to take on 3G, even if it became a losing battle. That's what, that's another reason why I don't think they're the greatest, but I think they're a parallel of 3G itself. Because 3G relies on its bravery, while the, 30, while the planetary masters are afraid of it. They mock their, the will of, their hero, of our heroes. They mock the will of their brave. And as a result, because of their mockery and superiority, that's what ends up costing them. However, the battle was far from done. Because of, a, because of another planetary master who was using a machine that was important, that became that actually later became a plot point for this final battle, kept regenerating them, eventually regenerating multiple copies. However, luckily, 3G prepared for this. They waited until the, until the past Q machine, the machine that the, that the Soul Master is using to regenerate, was used in, in a large enough way in order for them to track it. And so they um, amplified their final, their final countermeasure. You see, the, while the while the new support while the new spaceship slash support while the new division fleet that yeah I just remember the name was made to replace the old one that was destroyed near the end of the series, they also had a secondary function. They could combine, forming a new version of the Goldian Hammer, with a reborn Goldie at at the helm. The Goldion Crusher, which was made in order to stop, in order to stop massive enemies like that are at Sea Master's level, and I believe they were, and this was called for, with the J Arc using ES missiles, no, using SP missiles, which, which a lot combined with the coordinates that they found the past Q machine is, with the spirits of his. Of his fallen comrades, comrades, his living comrades, and his and Mikoto, who also died, like I mentioned earlier, sent their wills, braves, and power to him, calling out one final Shikami Miname, destroy the past Q machine, ending the threat of the planetary masters and saving the universe. But Guy died, or. At least I think he died. I don't. I'm not sure. And unfortunately, the comet, the the comet, the division fleet used was disappearing. They only had a short amount of time, so they sent Mamoru and Kaito through an ES window, with the spirits of the of of our heroes talking to them, telling them to fight on to the future. And we later hear the narrator one more time saying we believe the heroes will return again someday in a promise of courage. And for the final episode, there's a quote saying, this is the end of the brave king who, tra who defied fate. And what a conclusion it was. Bringing the... Well, the Brave series will leave on. It brought the... In memories, heck, even anime... Heck, even some episodes you can find on YouTube... But it will always hold a place in the hearts of those who, who have watched it from beginning to end 
and those who have discovered it and realized what a series it was. Also, there was an English dub where you could hear the voices, you could hear the guy who voiced Leonardo in the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, the guy who voiced Yami Yugi in the Yu-Gi-Oh! dub, and the guy who also voiced Yusei Photos in the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds dub in one series. Unfortunately, they didn't really get to the to the well final end of the to get to the end of the first half of the series. So you so you're probably more open to watch the subs. I've actually made playlists of both this, the Gao Gaigar subs, and the subs for the Gao Gaigar final. I suggest you guys check them out, and maybe you'll find out that the Brave series is all I made it up to be. But that's it for now. Next time we'll Next time we'll be heading over back to the States to look at a show from DC that got that has well similar to the Brave series has got a bit of a following. Join me next time when we look at the young heroes young heroes stepping into their own. When we look at Young Just the Young Justice cartoon. But what do you guys think? Want me to go over more shows from Japan? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. I don't update often, but when I do, hit that bell icon, you'll get all the latest updates. Well, that's all for now. This is Jack Hiller saying, Final Fusion! And, see ya.